John 13.23. Ain anakemenos heis ekton matheton autu into kalpo tu Yesu han egapa ha Yesus. Right before this, Jesus has washed his disciples' feet. He's told them that one of them will betray him, and they're at a loss, I'm troubled to hear this. We read now, one out of his disciples was reclining at the chest of Jesus. Old English translations will say at the bosom or in the bosom of Jesus. Modern translations will say next to Jesus. This person is the one whom Jesus loves. So here we have the explicit appearance of the beloved disciple, one of the disciples identified as the beloved disciple, who will make other explicit appearances in the verses I just highlighted here. Let's go back up here to the beginning where we have a periphrastic participle. Do you remember what that is? A periphrastic participle. That's just a form of a me plus the participle. The form of a me we have is right there, the ain. And look down here on the bottom of the page. We have the imperfect of a me, a main, ace, ain, amen, a to ason. I was, you were, he was. So that's it right there, the third person singular, he was. And the he is the one, one of his disciples, was, and then we need a participle there to finish out the idea, was reclining. You can see by that min morphing, this is going to be a middle or passive participle. And we remind ourselves the lexical form here of recline, like re recline at a table to, to eat a meal, is an anakemai, right? And when we, when we look at that, Form, we say, oh yeah, this is one of these middle-only verbs. And you think about it, reclining, sitting, reclining, these are very subject-affected activities, and so they're usually found, if not exclusively found, in the middle voice. This anakemenos is just a present middle participle, nominative masculine, singular. One final thing, this word Agapa, you look at that and you say, I think there's something lengthened there at the beginning. I bet that's an imperfect or an aorist. But then you look at the ending, that alpha, and that's throwing you off. Some of you are confused by that. This is from the verb agapao. Oh, yeah, that's one of those contract verbs. So we lengthen the initial vowel, yes, for the imperfect. And then we have the imperfect ending, epsilon. You get an A in elementary school, you get an A your whole life. So the, the alpha and the epsilon combine to be alpha. So that is just an imperfect, active indicative, third person singular.